Hi guys, it's myself Profusion and welcome back to another video but this is something completely different but it's not very often I post tech videos like this but I thought I'd just share this out with you guys. So basically what I'm going to be showing you is how to enable the TPM 2.0. So the motherboard I'm actually using is a MSI X570 A Pro MS737C37. Sorry if I got my letters and numbers mixed up but yeah. I'm actually running this off a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and uh, just have to say I've upgraded to the latest Windows 11 and it's absolutely amazing but the the whole rig that I've actually upgraded recently is all a tw it's all brand new it's 2020 and uh, the GPUs I've got I've got them from eBay uh, last year anyway because they're only like they're only 2019 and the graphics card is uh, MS it's um AMD Oh, I was going to say MSI graphic cards, uh, but they're not uh, MSI. They're actually um, AMD Radeon uh, 480s. I've actually got two of them in Crossfire, by the way. So, yes. Uh, so, what you need to do is you need to go on to settings in the motherboard. So, your motherboard settings and your layout might be different because I'm using the MSI one. It's uh, Click BIOS 5. So, it's the latest BIOS version, by the way. So yeah, if if you're using motherboards like uh, Asus, Gigabyte, Ace Rock, and uh, other brands out there, your layout might be a little bit different. So for those um, who don't know how to do this, and before you install Windows 11, you need to do this, but only if you're running Windows 10 at the moment and your machine or your laptop is uh, able to handle Windows 11 and re also receive the updates as well because if you if you don't have um, TPM 2.0 you might not be obviously you won't be able to run Windows 11 but even though you can try and install it on an older computer you will not get the updates because Microsoft will actually stop su support for the older hardware to be fair and if you do read up on their website um, you'll understand what they mean by that because the thing with Windows 11 I know it's going on par with Mac anyway with the whole layout and things like that but the operating system is absolutely amazing myself I'm having no problems with it whatsoever but the only problem I've had when I've upgraded to it is um, I've had to reinstall unplug all my USB devices because when I've upgraded the whole screen just froze and then when I went to unplug everything everything just loaded fine and then I went to plug them back in it's all okay it Microsoft um, and not just that the um, Windows 11 recognize the drivers so it's all good I'm all good and apart from that I've had to reset my microphone settings by the way but anyways let's go on to settings so what you need to do is click on settings and then go on to security and then where it says trusted computing you need to click on this and then even looking at this TPM 2.0 device found, but you probably fi find out if you new if you're building a new rig, new computer, or whatever, the latest motherboards will definitely have this and a built-in anyways for a, for like um, for more advanced security anyways. So yes, Microsoft is not supporting any old hardware. So the older gaming rig I had was a, a uh, Asus uh, Sabertooth 990FX so Windows 11 will not even work on that and plus my old CPU was an AMD FX 8350 so unfortunately it runs Windows 10 fine but Microsoft would only support Windows 10 until 2025 unfortunately but after that day no good no good so it would just leave your computer vulnerable to attacks and um and the uh, risks as well of your machine getting hacked or whatever but yeah so where it says security is of device support but by default this will be disabled anyways so what you need to do is click on this but don't touch anything else though because even myself i don't even know what this does so you only need to touch this one but nothing else because uh, I don't know if I'm going to mess up with anything or not. But what you need to do is just... If it's disabled, you need to enable it. So click enable. 
and the firmware version I'm using is 3.44. So once you've done that, all you need to do is press the F10 key, it will save the BIOS. But okay, so what you need to do is you need to click yes, and then wait for it to load up. But this is only if you're running Windows 10 and you want to upgrade to Windows 11 because your computer is ready for Windows 11 if you're running Windows 10. So, but if you built your computer in the last two years, but anything going beyond five years won't be good enough. But if you built it within five years, you should be golden. You should be good to go. And, and feel free to upgrade to the latest operating system. But yes, if you want to stay on Windows 10, that's absolutely up to you anyways. But I've just, I've just got it while it was free, uh, cost me nothing. So I've done it through, I've actually do downloaded the uh, Windows upgrade, uh, Windows 11 upgrade assistant anyways. So even, even looking at this, I actually like the new layout. It runs pretty smooth as well, but yeah, just have to say it's actually on par with Mac at the moment because even looking at the layout, I actually like the layout because uh, you got all your tools, all your programs, your start menus right in the middle. So, yes. And that's all I've got to show you guys. And that's about it. But anyways, take care of yourselves and stay safe out there. And let me know if this has worked for you, guys. Because I thought I'd just show you all this if you don't know how to enable TPM 2.0. But just like I said, I'm using an MSI motherboard to do this but just like i said your bios your setting layouts may be different if you're using an asus gigabyte or ace rock motherboards then yes i hope this video helps and i'll see you all in the next one take care peace